Right, hey, welcome back to the shop. Uh, a little idea for a little video series I'm going to do. And it's uh, basically, why buy it if we can build it? I made this jig to sharpen my gouges on. It fits any, any one of my spindle gouges up to my largest one. Or even my smallest one. I believe this is a quarter inch spindle gouge. Or it accommodates either of my bowl gouges. Now the basic design of this is a hole going through, which a tool goes through. Um, I have a pool cue joint screw and female joint part epoxied into my block of wood. I have a piece of tool steel. Now there's another part to the jig that's on my grinder. We'll get to that in a minute. Basically what you want to try to achieve if you're building one is around a 45 degree angle from your tool laying flush in the jig down to your tool you know, down to your tool post. I went with a six and a quarter post, which the measurements I um, I went with was a six inch, but I allowed for the pocket. It's a pretty basic design, like I said. I mean, it's just a screw. You could use a um, a nut, drill your hole, and then um, epoxy it in. Whatever. I mean. I happen to have pool cue pots laying around, so I just use them. So uh, I think I'm going to bring my grinder over to my lathe. I got better lighting, and I won't have to move the camera. The 247 theory: tool two out from the the point where the tool intersects, where the jig intersects your um, gouge. That's why I cut it off at that point, because that's basically where it intersects. Now, these measurements can be played with a little bit back and forth. Or this measurement can be played with back and forth to achieve a slightly different bevel. So, but these are your basic fundamental measurements that you start with. You two out, four down from the center of your wheel. So four inches down, that's why I have this little block with the clamp, because it's um, this extension I made is not quite high enough. So I made my little block out of three pieces of uh, plywood, drilled my little pocket hole so my tool fits in there nicely but swings freely. Made my relief cuts on the outside of my block so when I'm sharpening a bowl gouge, where I want the long grind, I can literally lay that tool out like that and achieve that grind. Hope you uh, Consider building your own jig instead of paying 50 or 60 dollars for one of these. So, thanks for watching.